What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today, Google Ads announced an update to similar segments and since I've been going over segments and audience targeting and everything through Google over the last month, I wanted to give this update to you as well. So Google Ads announced that similar segments will be removed altogether from Google Ads in August 2023. Starting May 2023, segments will stop being automatically created and your current similar audiences segments will no longer be allowed to be added to campaigns. So if you're currently targeting similar segments, then they will continue to actually work up until August 2023. At that point, they're going to be removed. So if we come over to Google ads and we've been going over similar segments a lot. So let's open up an example. So if we go to tools and settings over here and then we go to our shared library and we go to audience manager. So when we started creating different remarketing segments or your data segments, then what you started seeing at the very bottom here are similar segments automatically created. So you can see I created a, and we'll scroll up here a little bit, I created two different audiences in a recent video tutorial, Christmas page titles, Christmas pages page URL to try to drive people to my different Christmas offers that I'm gonna have. So if we scroll down here, these are website visitors audiences. So anybody who visits pages that have Christmas page titles or Christmas page URLs, basically taking things like stockings, ornaments, all the different types of products on my website, garlands. And what happens is you can see if we come down, some of these different similar segments were created. Now, some were un incompatible, some were too small to serve. So I'm not able to actually use them yet. But as they continue to grow, I should be able to use them in my targeting. Now, if we come up to the top here, you can see some of these all visitors audiences. We scroll down. These similar segments are automatically created and we're able to target people who have visited our website. And then we can also target some of these different similar segments of people who are very similar to people who have visited our website. So right here, I have all visitors 30 days. So you can see for search, it's an audience of 100,000 to 300,000 similar people, 10,000 to 50,000 similar people and the good thing about this if we scroll over here you can see the audience changes over time based on the people that are visiting my website so if in a given time period a group of people visit my website and it's different than another time period my similar segments automatically going to be updated to make sure that it's matching closely people who are visiting my website now you can see the benefits of this for example somebody who purchases from my website now this this actually isn't working but for somebody who converts on my website and makes a purchase you could create a your data segment, a remarketing segment of purchasers, and what Google Ads would automatically do is create a similar audience of people that are most closely related to people who are purchasing from your website. So these are automatically gonna be removed, but if we come over here, looking at the picture that Google Ads had, by August 2023, they say, op adopt optimized targeting, audience expansion, and smart bidding. So they're going to continue to be available until May 2023. So it's six months. New similar audience segments stop being generated. Existing cannot be added and already added to campaigns will continue to function. 2023 automatically removed and you'll have historical reporting data available. Now, what's next? What Google Ads is telling people is use optimized targeting and smart bidding. And you can see while similar segments are being removed, it seems like a privacy move. So Google Ads says that optimized targeting can help you find new and relevant audiences that are likely to convert without relying on third-party cookies. So essentially what's happening is Google Ads is removing similar segments because of privacy issues, and they're going to allow you to use optimized targeting, which essentially will be similar segments instead of the same name, and they're not going to be using third-party cookies. So it's completely a privacy move. What you need to keep in mind is if you're running display, discovery, or video action campaigns, use optimized targeting and use smart bidding. If you're running awareness and reach or consideration video campaigns, then you wanna use audience expansion. And if you're running search or shopping campaigns, you wanna make sure you're using smart bidding. So all of these are the moves you need to make to basically not see any changes in your account. What it sounds like is that Google ads is essentially using optimized targeting and they're going to be creating similar segments based on all the information they have about your business, your assets, your landing pages, your ads, the different data segments that you're creating. The other thing is if we come back over here, you can also create custom segments. So custom segments have allowed you to create really targeted audiences. So in my example before of Christmas decorations for the beach, I can create a, 
a custom segment like this one and if we click on edit here what I can do is say people who search for any of these terms on Google and anybody who's searching for beach Christmas decorations stockings garlands nutcrackers anything that's related to Christmas and the beach I can create a custom segment and target people who are searching for these terms on Google so these are some different ways to look at the changes that Google Ads is implementing you're not going to have your similar segments available anymore but with optimized targeting what Google Ads is going to do is essentially just do the same exact thing without having to use third-party cookies because that's the privacy issue so you should notice these in August 2023 completely removed from your account and what we'll have to do in the meantime is just look at our performance and see if anything changes so if you have any questions about similar segments they're still going to be available for a while but by next year they are going to be phased out so you are going to have to make sure you're using custom segments and make sure you're still using your data segments because that's not going to change so if you have any questions about this please leave them in the comment section thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the surfside ppc youtube channel